On 13 September 1944, a young Indian princess was shot dead in a concentration camp in Germany. Her name was Noor Inayat Khan. She had sacrificed her life in the fight against fascism, and she was awarded the George Cross for her bravery. She aroused my curiosity, as I wanted to know how an Indian woman reached the heart of the war in Europe and played such a crucial role. It was the start of my journey with Noor. Noor was born in Moscow in 1914 to an Indian father, Hazrat Inayat Khan, and an American mother, Ora Ray Baker. Her father was a Sufi preacher, and Noor was brought up in Paris in a genteel atmosphere. She was a writer of children's stories and had just published her first book when war broke out in Europe. A firm believer in non-violence, she and her brother decided to take a stand against fascism. The family came to London and Noor volunteered for the Women's Auxiliary Air Force and started training as a radio operator. Her knowledge of French was useful and she was recruited by the Special Operations Executive, a secret organization started by Churchill. Noor became the first woman radio operator to be dropped behind enemy lines in occupied Paris. Her code name was Madeleine. She did crucial work in the field, but was betrayed, arrested, tortured, and finally executed in Dachau concentration camp. In 2010, we decided that we could not let Noor's story simply fade away, and that we needed to preserve it for the next generation. Why Noor, you may ask, when so many others also died in the war? Because a message of peace and religious harmony is even more relevant in these troubled times. The Memorial Trust is raising funds to erect a bust in her memory in Gordon Square in Bloomsbury, near the house where she lived and from where she left on her last mission. Noor's dying words were liberté, and we hope you will all help us remember a forgotten heroine of the war who gave her life so that we can be free.